And another thing, how organized are you? You want some type of a system for filing, saving, and retrieving the information that you have. Get a good resource guidebook or books to go or something that you can always go back to. Begin with what you know. Yes, a lot of people will say, oh, you start with yourself and you work your way back. Well, you know, start with what you know on one of the ancestors that you're working at. You know, that will also help you. And you will build from there because you're going to ask questions about what you don't know or what's missing. You got to figure out who or what, as in reference to document or, or supporting evidence that might know or bring forth that information. I'm on this kick right now about staying inside the box. People will tell you, jump outside the box, expand your research, this, that, and other. No, I want you to stay in that box and do more focus and deep analysis inside that box and get as much as you can from there. And I'll talk a little bit more about that. So just try to change a little bit of your thinking, you know, about jumping outside the box. We go down the rabbit holes and they're good. No problem whatsoever. But you want to go down a rabbit hole that's going to deliver something in the end. You know you're going to have challenges. It doesn't matter if it's African-American, European, whatever. We are going to have challenges no matter what. So you know what? Just accept the fact they're there and change your thinking that if I have challenges, that means I'm going to strengthen my research skills because I'm going to have to work a little bit harder. And again, stick to the basics, okay? The basics about genealogical research. You got to get organized. You know, we all have this stuff all over the place. We got files, we got books, we got stacks, and it is overwhelming. We're going to repeat research that we've done before and before and before because sometimes we're creating our own brick walls. So we don't want you, and I'm speaking as far of all of us as family historians, genealogists, whatever hat you choose to wear, we don't want you just to be successful in collecting paper. So again, you want to have some type of a system that you are going to have for filing information, once you receive it, saving or retrieving, make a decision on how you're going to maintain your files. And these timelines are so key to that. So it's your choice. I just want you to be consistent. Are you going to maintain files totally online, in a filing cabinet, binders, folders, or in the stacks? You choose whatever you know you will go back to. Because you know we get a lot of advertisement and all these different things that different people are doing. This is why I push so much to stick with the basics because we end up, after we went down rabbit holes and did all this other stuff, we typically will come back to the basic strategies and methods, no matter what. So build from there because they're tried and true methods. 